Ever since the concept of wormholes, black holes, and multidimensional theory was introduced in scientific literature, it has intrigued both researchers and sci-fi enthusiasts alike. In this video, we will delve into the scientific theory behind these concepts and compare it to its portrayal in the movie Interstellar. The theoretical implications of traversable wormholes and black holes are both fascinating and profound, touching on fundamental aspects of space-time, theoretical physics, and our understanding of the universe. But how does the concept of wormholes and black holes portrayed in the movie Interstellar align with scientific theory? Let's start with the scientific basis for these concepts. A wormhole is a hypothetical tunnel in space-time that connects two different points in the universe. It's like a shortcut through the fabric of space, allowing us to travel vast distances in an instant. In Interstellar, a wormhole is discovered near Saturn, offering hope for the survival of mankind. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. They are formed from the remnants of massive stars. In Interstellar, the crew of the Endurance spacecraft explores a supermassive black hole called Gargantua. In the movie, Gargantua pushes the crew of Endurance to the boundaries of what we understand about black holes. Black holes and wormholes are solutions to Einstein's theory of general relativity. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, published in 1915, is based on the following key components. Einstein's theory of general relativity starts with the equivalence principle, which states that the effects of gravity are indistinguishable from the effects of acceleration. This means that being at rest in a gravitational field and accelerating in space without gravity are physically equivalent. Einstein proposed that space-time, a four-dimensional continuum of space and time, is not static but can be warped or curved by mass and energy. This curvature of space-time is what we perceive as gravity. Larger masses cause more significant curvature, leading to stronger gravitational attraction. Objects in space follow paths called geodesics, which are the straightest possible paths in curved space-time. For instance, planets orbiting a star are following geodesics within the curved space-time caused by the star's mass. The heart of general relativity is the Einstein field equations. These complex mathematical equations describe how matter and energy determine the curvature of space-time and, conversely, how this curvature affects the motion of matter and energy. General relativity predicts several phenomena that were later confirmed, such as the bending of light by gravity, gravitational lensing, the precession of the orbits of planets, notably Mercury's orbit, the gravitational redshift of light, and the existence of black holes. The theory also predicts gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe. These were directly detected for the first time in 2015 by the LIGO collaboration. According to the theory of general relativity, wormholes could potentially connect two separate points in space-time, potentially creating a shortcut between them. Some theoretical models even suggest that if traversable wormholes could exist, they could, in theory, provide a means of travel between different regions of space-time or even potentially connect to other universes or dimensions. In the realm of science fiction, Wormholes are often depicted as gateways to other dimensions, parallel universes, or distant parts of the universe, and they play a prominent role in many popular works of fiction. In the context of modern physics, the concept of other dimensions are often associated with theories such as string theory or multiverse theories, which propose the existence of additional spatial dimensions beyond the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that we experience in our everyday lives. The most common types of wormholes are Schwarzschild wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges, and traversable wormholes. The former are not stable for passage, while the latter, a speculative concept, would require exotic matter to keep them open. A major issue with wormholes in scientific theory is their stability. According to general relativity, they would collapse so quickly that nothing could pass through. Stabilizing a wormhole would require exotic matter with negative energy, which is currently hypothetical and not found in nature. Some theories suggest that if traversable and stable wormholes were possible, they might allow for time travel, leading to complex paradoxes and challenges to our understanding of causality. Wormholes are related to black holes through theoretical constructs such as the Einstein-Rosen bridge. The exploration of wormholes may also shed light on the long-standing black hole information paradox, offering potential clues about the fate of information that falls into black holes and the behavior of quantum systems in extreme gravitational environments. In the movie Interstellar, 
Directed by Christopher Nolan, the film's portrayal of a wormhole provides an intriguing backdrop for a story that delves into themes of time dilation, space exploration, and the survival of humanity. Interstellar captures the imagination and raises thought-provoking questions about the theoretical implications of traversable wormholes. In the movie, a team of astronauts travels through a wormhole near Saturn to explore potentially habitable exoplanets in a distant galaxy. In Interstellar, the wormhole is depicted as a three-dimensional tunnel that connects our galaxy to another, enabling interstellar travel. The film's depiction of a wormhole is visually stunning, showing a spherical gateway floating in space. This representation was based on theoretical physicist Kip Thorne's calculations and was praised for its scientific accuracy in terms of visualizing the distortion of light along with providing a visually accurate representation of a 3D projection of a wormhole. The film's depiction of time dilation and the relativistic effects of gravitational fields on the passage of time also aligns with established scientific principles, adding a layer of scientific credibility to the narrative. The wormhole in Interstellar is portrayed as stable and traversable, allowing spacecraft to pass through without any issues. This aspect diverges from current scientific theories, where stability is a major challenge. Unlike some scientific speculations, the wormhole in Interstellar does not facilitate time travel, but the movie incorporates concepts such as time travel, the challenges of interstellar communication and resource scarcity, and the extraordinary nature of space exploration. In the movie, the wormhole serves solely as a means of space travel between two distant points in the universe. While the wormhole in Interstellar did not serve as a conduit for time travel, the astronauts' subsequent visitation of a planet near the massive black hole Gargantua did explore that concept based on Gargantua's tremendous gravity effect on the planet they visited. According to general relativity principles, a strong gravitational field can significantly affect the flow of time. This phenomenon is known as gravitational time dilation. In the film, it's stated that one hour on the planet equals about seven years of Earth time. This is an example of the concept of time slowing down in the presence of a massive gravitational field. The considerable time discrepancy between the time experienced on the planet and Earth becomes a crucial plot point in the movie. The film's portrayal of Gargantua is noted for its scientific accuracy, thanks to the involvement of physicist Kip Thorne, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist known for his work in gravitational physics and astrophysics. Thorne's input helped the filmmakers depict the effects of gravity and time near a black hole in a way that aligns with scientific theories and ensured that the visual representation of the black hole, Gargantua, was as realistic as possible given current scientific understanding. Other examples of the kind of temporal paradox that one would experience with time travel were demonstrated in the movie, such as the concept of time dimensions. The concept of multi-dimensions arises in theories like string theory, which posits the existence of more than the four familiar dimensions, three spatial and one temporal. These extra dimensions are typically thought to be compactified or curled up at scales far smaller than can be observed, and their direct impact on our observable universe is still a subject of theoretical exploration. Interstellar introduces us to the concept of multidimensional travel, where astronaut Cooper enters a tesseract, a four-dimensional space that allows for access to different moments in time. Inside the Tesseract, Cooper is able to see and interact with different moments in time as if they were physical places. In mathematics and theoretical physics, a Tesseract is a four-dimensional analog of a cube. While we live in a three-dimensional world, with time often considered the fourth dimension in the context of space-time, the idea of higher dimensions is a field of study in theoretical physics, particularly in string theory and related areas. The movie suggests that the Tesseract was constructed by a future advanced version of humanity, capable of manipulating higher dimensions. The movie also touches on aspects of relativity and quantum mechanics, particularly in the portrayal of time as a dimension and the effects of intense gravity. However, the depiction of the Tesseract and Cooper's interaction with it goes beyond current scientific understanding and remains in the realm of science fiction. Currently, there's no scientific basis for the ability to manipulate time in this manner. Cooper enters the Tesseract after crossing the event horizon of the black hole, Gargantua. In real astrophysical terms, crossing a black hole's event horizon would lead to spaghettification due to immense gravitational gradients and no known physics allows for survival or escape beyond this point. 
Interstellar does an impressive job of visually and conceptually representing these complex scientific ideas. However, it takes significant creative liberties, especially in the portrayal of the Tesseract and the survivability of events like entering a black hole. The film serves more to inspire wonder and provoke thought about the possibilities of the universe than to provide a strictly accurate portrayal of current scientific understanding. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and give us a like.